I'm about to put my entire life on sports mode. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite pirate captain. It's your favorite goddess king. It's your favorite auntie uncle. It's your favorite hood healer, high priestess, motivational dominatrix, lady speech, and the place to be. And I want to welcome you back to my channel. You could be anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, you are somewhere in the world. And you're also choosing to share a little bit of time and a little bit of space with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Now, if you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you're feeling any of this, if you're feeling any of me, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notifications bell so you can keep up with all my shenanigans and happenings and goings downs and things. Now, let's get into today's video, shall we? Hey, sugar honey dumplings. Boy, have I missed you. Have I missed you. Have I missed you. But Lord knows. Lord knows I needed this break. It has been a minute since we have found ourselves here with a new video interacting on this platform. And let me just say, first and foremost, I want to thank each and every single one of you for your patience with me. I want to thank you for allowing me to take the time I needed to show grace and mercy to myself. I want to thank you for being patient with me as I stepped away to attend to my own life and my own healing. I needed every ounce of that break I took, but I'm not going to lie to you. I missed this. I missed creating for you. I missed interacting in this space. I have been loaded and downloaded with all of the ideas and I couldn't communicate. I couldn't create any of that for you. The last few weeks has been a space where I have needed to just attend to me. And a lot of y'all, y'all know that and you make space for that. So first and foremost, once again, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your patience with me. And as you can see from this video, we back, baby. We back. And as you can tell from the title, I'm about to tell you what happened and why. And I'm about to tell you what you can expect going forward. So let's get into it. Y'all, this last six months was and has been a lot. In some of the best and some of the worst ways. If you've been paying attention, you know pretty much what's been going down. I've been very transparent. Uh, this last six months has been extremely life-changing for me. First and foremost, I moved. I picked up my entire life. I packed up everything I knew and I took myself. I drove myself. I moved myself. I packed up a U-Haul. I hitched my car and I moved myself from Colorado to Ohio by myself <laughs> my entire life pack that up <laughs> and just started some new shit in a whole nother place <laughs> and though this part of the journey has been amazing and wonderful and divine and so beautiful it's a lot it's a lot to take to pack up and to take everything you know and to take it somewhere else it's a lot it's a lot. So my entrance into Ohio has been beautiful. It's been divine. I've had an amazing time here so far. I moved here to improve. I moved here to heal. I moved here to boss up. I moved here to do all the things. And I am doing all those things. Um, but it's a lot. And I have got to, I've had to get acclimated. You know, new routines, new everything. Learning an entire new city, grieving the loss of so much that I left behind. So this six months has been amazingly good and very heavy as well. In addition to that, in addition to moving my entire life, in addition to packing up everything, in addition to going across country, I experienced a very deep and profound loss. Less than three weeks after I arrived in Ohio, I awoke to news of a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, who had been murdered in a hate crime, along with several other people in Denver, Colorado.
but that was a lot. I literally closed out last year coming to terms with the death of my beautiful friends, Alicia Cardenas and Alyssa Maldonado. I brought in the new year in ceremony, in deep, deep ceremony and ritual to help the spirits and the souls of my friends cross over into the other side. I literally spent the end of last year and the beginning of this year in deep prayer, assisting my friends as they crossed over. I have said it before and I will say it again, there was something ritualistic about their passing. There was something ceremonial about the whole process. I am absolutely 1000% forever changed because of this experience. Three weeks, less than three weeks after I picked up my entire life and moved it into another state, I was back in my home state as a visitor doing my job as a death doula. I heard the call from my friend's spirit. I heard the call from spirit itself. I heard the call from creator and mother earth. I heard the call and I answered it with every part of my being. My job was to assist my friends as they crossed over. My job was to be there and support the community, our community, my community. My job was to grieve publicly with my people. My job was to be there and I did that job. The people I lost they were such gifts to this planet. So beautiful. And I will miss them and grieve them forever. <sighs> because of the nature of my relationship with those who passed, this particular job as a death doula was very and deeply personal and intimate. It wasn't just about doing the job for my community, for my chosen family, for their families. It was about also being very present in my own process. In my tradition and the, the way that I practice my death doula -ship, and the way that I interact with death. There is an official mourning time. And this is the, the time closest to when the person has chosen to walk over or has been made to walk over to the other side and take their place as an ancestor. And this period of time lasts for however long it needs to last and it's by a case by case basis. But this last six months was the official morning time for me. It was the time that I needed to take to get deep into the feelings and to release myself into every single ounce of grief I had. Though I will grieve forever because that's the nature of grief. The official morning time came to a head in May. In May, I was invited to speak at Alicia's and Alyssa's last and official homegoing ceremony. And it was one of the most important speeches I have ever given in my entire life. It was an honor to be there, to honor those two spirits and souls. It was an honor to be there, to speak life into their legacy. 
it was an honor to lend my medicine to ceremony. Now, I was pretty much creating during this entire time. I definitely slowed down and I was very transparent with a lot of you as to what was going on. You can even look at the videos. Um, but I definitely began to taper off with my cre creation and with my content making because I was attending to myself. I was attending to the community and you all held perfect space for me. You allowed me to be there when I was there and you gave me all your love and your attention and I thank you so much. Y'all have no idea how much your energy uplifts me. I know a lot of you come on here and you speak to me about how I pour into you but please know that you do the same for me and I cherish each and every thought and prayer. Even though I was creating sparsely, but I was still creating during this experience, around about May, I knew I needed to take some time. And I needed to be quiet. And I needed to just have my process. So much of my process was about community and village, and I wouldn't change any of that. But I also understand as a healer, it is not only my duty and my job to attend to the village, I must attend to myself. So I stopped creating for a while so I could do just that, attend to myself. As I said before, something about this experience felt like an initiation. That intersecting with me moving I don't know if I can articulate to you the type of death within my spirit and soul I have experienced and the type of resurrection that immediately followed. What I can tell you is this. Everything is different now. There is something in me that is sharper and simultaneously softer. I am so much louder and I am quiet. I am shifted from my spirit up, shifted. I say and I compare this to an initiation because I've been through initiations and I'm preparing myself for my next initiation. An initiation shifts you, it changes you. It changes you from the core of who you are. It ushers you into some of the most authentic and truest parts of yourself. And it forces a death of everything that was contrived or what was true for you but is no longer needed moving forward. That, my friends, was the long answer. The short answer as to where I've been is I've been healing. I've been allowing the shift to truly take over me, run through me. I have been sitting with the changes that this experience has brought about. I have been growing. I have been honoring my grief and honoring the new parts of myself. I have been getting to know the new parts of myself. And I've been saying goodbye to the last parts of my old life that are no longer needed. I've been getting to know my friends as they exist in a new realm, in new space, as ancestors and friends. And I've been preparing for the job spirit has for me. <laughs> mm. 
Boy, I tell you, divine timing at its best. Now that the heavy lifting has been taken care of and we have spoken to where I've been, why I've been absent, and what is going on, let's get into what you can expect from me moving forward, okay? At the very least, you can expect two uploads a week from me, baby. That's right, two uploads a week after however many years doing this on this platform, I have finally decided on something concrete. Now, every once in a while, you're going to get more than two uploads, but you're definitely going to get at least two uploads uploads the first upload is going to be sunday service speaking of sunday service your weekly reading with lady speech we're coming back to that this week yes we are we're coming back to that and we're going to be doing sunday service at 9:09 a.m for the rest of june and all of july darling we're going to continue what i was doing which is every month i'm going to choose the time for sunday service and that's the time i'm going to come to you on sundays because i'm beginning it again in the middle of june we're starting off at 9:09 a.m eastern standard time eastern standard time y'all seem to like that point so we're going to do it then and we're going to do it all the way until july and then when august comes i'm going to reevaluate so you're going to get a sunday service upload and you're going to get a friday upload okay you're gonna get a friday upload you're gonna get a friday upload so you can count on that now if life gets me I ain't upload, upload nothing. Y'all are now used to this. You know how I work. I am someone who is all about that self-care. So if life comes for me, I'm going to go deal with life. And that is the only reason why you ain't going to get an upload. But I am committed to this schedule. Do you hear me? Twice a week, Sunday service, and then a random video on Fridays. Sundays and Fridays. I got you. So now that you know the frequency of when I'm going to be posting and doing all that kind of stuff, now let's talk about the content that you can expect to see on here. Also want to do a disclaimer, if you hear noises or anything like that, I don't live alone by myself anymore. You know I'm a roommate, so that's what it is. Okay? Okay. So first and foremost, there is going to be a tiny bit of a shift in the type of content I create on this page. You're going to see a lot of tried and true favorites, but there is going to be a little bit of shifting that happens. Also, disclaimer. I have my notes because I didn't want to miss a thing okay so some of the things that you can definitely expect to see especially more of a resurgent of a resurgence of is number one herb of the week a lot of you guys enjoy that series I enjoy doing that series also I work in a whole apothecary botanica so I'm surrounded by them we're definitely doing herb of the week that is coming back at you we're bringing back affirmation ASMR that actually does not get a lot of views on this channel, but I'm super dedicated to it. I have a good time doing it, and there's literally like a niche group of you. I think there's like 10 of you who like it. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you back for those 10 people because I'm dedicated. Because I'm dedicated. Because I'm dedicated. You know what we're also bringing back? Ask Lady Speech. Ask Lady Speech. I'm pulling all of those questions from the comments across all of my platforms. So from Twitter, from um, soon to be Patreon, from Facebook, from TikTok. Uh, all everywhere I'm at from YouTube itself I'm going to be pulling those comments and ask answering questions so ask lady speech is definitely coming back what we are adding on to this though is more hot takes and more discussion about current events I do a lot more of this on TikTok, and a lot of you ask me on a regular basis to expand my opinion so this is the platform that I'm gonna do that on I definitely got some hot takes some controversial things that I've kept off of this platform but hey let's get it it's a new dawn it's a new day and i have i care less about what people think about me <laughs> i care less about what people think about what i have to say so i've got some things to say i'm gonna say it you're definitely gonna see an increase of hot takes you're definitely gonna see an increase of commentary on all of the things that the current events that we go through and see what else can you expect more of? Well, number one, you can expect more content that's about magic and it's about teaching magic. So um, I've got a lot of content planned that is all about the intricacies of magic to spell work to a lot of beginner basic things, a couple of advanced subjects, but I've got a whole lot of stuff around magic. Y'all love it. 
when I teach you about magic, so I'm gonna teach you about magic, okay? Do you know that I'm an official reverend? Yes, darling, I'm an official reverend, so we're definitely, I'm gonna be preaching to you. There's gonna be a lot more sermons and preachiness coming to you, baby. So not only am I a witch and soon to be mamba, we're gonna talk about that, I am also an official reverend. Yes, I can marry, I've been marrying folks and doing funerals for years, honey, for over 10 years, honey. So there's definitely gonna be more of that content there's definitely going to be more of that content. And you know what else you're going to see more of? Readings. Y'all know I hit you with the Sunday service. And you know I used to hit you a lot more with your new moon and your full moon readings. And we're going to get back to that. We're going to get back to more cosmic readings. So full moon readings, new moon readings, and also any other cosmic event spirit tells me to bust these cards out for and divine for you for. I'm absolutely going to do it. I'm absolutely going to do it. I am absolutely going to do it. Now, what is there going to be less of? Quite simply, there's going to be less vlogs. There's absolutely going to be less vlogs. I am still going to vlog behind the scenes things for you, but we're going to get away from vlogging so much. And that's, it just is what it is. It is what it is. You will see vlogs when we're doing some behind the scenes cool stuff that I want to share with you. You will see vlogs when I encounter a really cool space that I want to share with you. And you might see some vlogs when I start gaining a couple of sponsorships or two, okay? But for the most part, that is not going to be seen as frequently on the channel as it used to all right so I'm feeling really good about this change everything that I feel like creating feels very right it feels true to who I am where I'm going what I'm doing and all that good stuff and I'm just excited to share this part of the journey with you out of all of my platforms YouTube has been the most wonky for me to figure out it has been the the platform that I have been the most unsure about it has been the platform where I really kind of didn't know what I was doing and it and I and I didn't know what I was doing for a very long time, <laughs> but I have some very clear direction. All of a sudden, everything just made sense. I know exactly where I want to take this channel. I know what I want to do, and I'm excited to give it to you. So first off, let me say shout out to all of my followers who have been here when, like, when I was in the 300s, when I had 300 people. I want to say shout out to y'all who got me to a thousand people and then watched me walk away from this channel and didn't do anything with it for like a year thank you thank you thank you for your support and lastly i want to say shout out to all of you who have been with me whenever you got on this train whenever you got on this train whenever you decided to ride the lady speech ride honey that sounded a little dirty but whenever you decided to ride this i appreciate you for being here and sticking with me and all i gotta say is honey sports mode uh, sports mode sports mode sports mode i'm about to put my my life as if it were a whole divine bedazzled croc on sports mode. Do you hear me? The art, the love, the magic that is bubbling up in me. I cannot wait to share with all of you. And speaking of bubbling up, I mentioned a couple minutes ago in this video that I am finally moving towards my initiation i am finally moving closer to my space of being able to take the title of mambo some of you have been are such ogs that you remember the videos where i was talking about a couple years back my initiation um that i was looking forward to when it came to haitian voodoo and some of you are deep enough supporters to remember the videos where i spoke about why that did not end up going down and you also in those same videos heard me speak to the fact that voodoo was still all the way in my heart and i knew that this was my path and i absolutely believe that i have landed in the right spaces and i'm exactly where i need to be part of me moving was to pursue that aspect of my spirituality and six months into the game here i am getting ready to walk through that doorway so i will definitely be doing some vlogging behind 
uh, what that experience is like. You guys are going to get some personal con commentary from me. There are a lot of things I'm not going to show you about that experience because those are private and uh, we don't show those type of spiritual experiences online. But my thought process about it, my feelings about it, the things that I can show you, I will show you. Y'all will see uh, from a, a very intimate way the way this process is shifting me. So I'm excited to share that aspect of you and I'm excited to enter into this new journey with you. I am not going to delete any of my videos um, from before. All of those are going to stay up. I, be, I like keeping a record. I like watching my growth. I like going in you know, years later and looking at my old content and kind of cringing. I <laughs> mean, like, look, what were you doing? Honey, what were you doing? But it also, like, marks my growth. I will, and I like that because I look at the content of the things that I'm doing now as opposed to what I used to do. And it just is a wonderful, full picture that speaks to how I've grown and how I've become. So those videos are going to remain here. You know, the, the videos are going to remain here. Y'all, my playlist will get even more varied. All the things are going to be all the things. And I'm just excited to share this new aspect of my journey with all of you. And on that note, you beautiful people, that's the end of this video. I took far longer than I wanted to to break things down and explain things. You know I'm long-winded. I'm a writer, I'm a poet, I'm a performer. I can't shut up. I can't be quiet for nothing. I really wanted to make this a short, sweet video, and that didn't happen, but it is what it is. Thank you for listening. If you made it to the end of this video, gold star for you. Gold star for you, gold star for you. Gold star for you, gold star for you. And I'm not going to keep you any longer. I hope you have a good day, a good morning, a good night, a good middle of the night, a good week, a good month, a good year, a good whenever you encounter this video. And if you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you're feeling any of this, if you're feeling any of me, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notifications bell to keep up with all of my shenanigans and happenings and goings, downs, and things. All right? All right. And on that note, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you get off and do what you do. You come back here, though, when you get that notifications for a new video because it's going to be nothing but shenanigans over here. And I am looking forward to sharing all of that with you. Now, I want you to know that I loved you. You are loved and cherished by your ancestors. And I will see you in the next video. God, goddess, and ancestors willing. Mwah. Peace.